Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to learn how to write equivalent fractions when we have two sets of fractions. So first what we need to do is we need to find the LCM of the pair of fractions. So um, that was when we were looking, we look at the denominators, and we did this yesterday, and we put the denominators into our little box, our L, then we figure out what number can we multiply um, or divide both of them by what prime number. So I know I can't do two into five, but I know I can do one. So I'm just gonna, this is gonna be my ladder. So I've got one times two times five, that equals 10. So my LCM here is 10. Okay, so that's step one. Step two says rewrite the fractions so they have the same denominator. So I'm going to turn 1 fifth is going to equal, um, it's going to have a denominator of 10, and 1 half is also going to have a denominator of 10. Now I need to figure out which number goes here. So that's like my x. So this is like algebra. So you want to think, what number can I multiply 10 by? What number can I multiply 5 by to get 10? Um, and the answer is 2. So I can multiply um, 5 times 2, and I'm going to get 10. What number can I multiply 2 by to get 10? And the answer is 5. So now I know what numbers I'm going to need to multiply by. So now this kind of gets a little confusing. So now I'm going to take my 1 fifth and I'm going to multiply it by 2. You're going to multiply each of the numbers by 2, the numerator and the denominator. I know my not denominator is 10 because that's what I already have. This is what you're trying to figure out. So you just multiply across this way and I get 2. So the answer is 2 tenths. Now I'm going to do that for a half. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to take 1 half and I'm going to multiply it by 5 and 5 because I'm trying to get the number 10. So now I have 5 and then I just multiply across. So my equivalent fractions are or my equivalent denominator, or my um, numbers that have equivalent fractions are 2 tenths and 5 tenths. Because 1 fifth is equal to, fifth to 2 tenths, and 5 tenths is equal to a half. But now, these denominators are the same, so we can easily subtract or add them. So I'm sure we're gonna probably need to do some more um, examples. So let's do one more together. I'm gonna erase this. Okay, now we have another example. We have one fourth and two thirds. So we need to have each of these have the same denominator and we're gonna write an equivalent fraction for each one. So I'm going to find the LCM. I'm going to do step one. So I'm going to take my denominators and I'm going to put them into a little box and I can only divide them by one. So my LCM is 12. So that's going to be my denominator also, my lowest common multiple, lowest common denominator. So I know that I need 1 fourth to equal something with a 12 on the bottom, and I need my 1 third to have 12 as the denominator. So now I need to figure out which numbers do I, can I multiply my 
4 by to get to 12. So I know that 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm going to multiply each of these by 12. So here I get 3 twelfths. And then this one I'm going to multiply by 4. You have to do it to both sides, and this one's already done. You multiply across, and I get 4 twelfths. So 1 fourth is equal to 3 twelfths, and 1 third is equal to 4 twelfths. And now they have the same common denominator, 12, so now I can add and subtract them easily. Okay. Hopefully this makes sense. I know it's a lot of steps, but that is how you um, use a common denominator to find equivalent fractions for two fractions. So um, remember, 1 fourth is equal to 3 twelfths. So that just means that um, this pi that was divided up into fourths, it's the same pi, but now instead of being divided up into fours, it's divided up into 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, twelve. So, but it's still the same. This is still the same amount being taken away, even though it's divided up into twelve. Okay. I hope this makes sense.